Hello, um, you just had an SI joint fusion surgery. Um, this is Dr. Grunch and Nicole. So we're just gonna go through your restrictions for after surgery. Um, you had your skin closed with skin glue. So in terms of your wound care, you can shower in 24 hours. Um, you can, if there's any dressing on your incision, you can take that off and then just keep that incision clean. I would recommend that you ice the incision um, at least 30 minutes, three times a day for the first five days or so. And if you have any concerns about your uh, incision, like drainage or anything like that, just call my office and let me know. And be sure that you remember to use your walker. Um, you're going to use the walker for the next three weeks. Um, you can put as much weight as you want to on your involved side, but you're not going to want to put a lot of weight the first week, and that's okay. Um, as the weeks go on and your pain is a little bit less, you can put more weight on that leg. But I want you to use your walker until you come back to see me postoperatively in three weeks. Um, remember during the daylight hours when you're sitting up in the chair, don't sit for more than an hour. Um, be sure to get up and walk around um, about 10 minutes out of every hour. Um, and don't walk more than 10 minutes. That's going to make um, the joint so sore because the SI joint is a weight-bearing joint. Um, try to avoid stair climbing, but if you have to go up and down stairs, remember you're going to go up with your strong leg, your uninvolved leg, the leg that you did not have surgery on. You will go up with that leg and then bring your surgical leg up to meet it, and then you'll repeat that. The opposite is true going down the stairs. You will go down with your surgical side first because you are decelerating with your strong leg. So you're controlling descent with your strong leg. Um, if you have to do that, limit that as much as possible. In terms of pain management, we'll give you some pain medicines to take with your surgery and muscle relaxers if you need it. Try not to take anti-inflammatory medicines unless I recommend that you do that. Um, sometimes that can inhibit healing. If you have extreme pain or pain that you think is different, uh, please let my office know. It's sometimes normal to have some leg pain, but if it's severe, then I need to know about it. And remember, you're not supposed to do any exercises for the next three weeks except ankle pumps when you're sitting for long periods of time and walking with your walker throughout the day. And you'll have appointments with both my office and with Gainesville Physical Therapy and typically three weeks a week and check on you and let us know if you have questions.